when we're in relationship, whether it's marriage, whether it's friendship, it doesn't matter what it is. When I stand at the altar with somebody and, uh, and, and they're getting married, or you're getting married, or performing a ceremony, or, or you have a friend, you need to know that you're not just marrying him, you're also marrying him. What I mean by that is, let's just say John is him. Whatever happened in John's childhood affects his adulthood. And that's why we need to grow into, because I need to know what happened to you here so I can understand why you're here. Because if I don't understand you're there, I will think you're indifferent, I will think you're mean, I will think you're cruel, and it, those may be true, but I need to understand what happened along the way to get you there. Because some of us fall in love with this person and not recognize that in every increment, we start, oh, come here, Blake. You know, there's steps over here, man. <laughs> Stand in the middle. So this is adulthood. You don't just marry him. You marry him too. What happened to you in, in high school? What happened to you in middle school? What happened to you in college? Let me borrow you. You right there. Yep, come on. Just, just jump over. Don't jump over here because I ain't got insurance. It ain't going to work. It don't work on Sunday. no. no. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Turn the camera off, y'all didn't see it. Turn the camera off. You marry him too. I need to know what happened at this age. I need to happen with this age. I need to happen with this age. Because maybe you snap at people who say the wrong thing to you because your daddy said the wrong thing to you at this age. And so when you say that word to me, it triggers this man. And it's not about you, it's about everything that happened here that we're minimizing because all I want to know is the grown you. I need to know all of you because if I don't know all of you, I'm not just falling in love with you. I may fall out of love with you because I did not fall in love with him. So here it is. Every stage makes us become a different person. Let me see. Uh, um, um, let me find me another older boy. Let me see a little older Doodle, little brass. Come here. All right, football player. Yeah. Uh, he's coming online. He's taking a while. Uh, come on, run like you're a cornerback. All right, good. Offensive lineman, cornerback. I need to know what happened here. How, how was your relationship with your dad? How's your relationship with your mom? Because all that matters. And if you're a female, it's the same thing. I, 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 don't, I, I don't need to know all that. You do. Because if you don't fall in love with all of them, you're never going to understand that. They all play a part in who they are. How many times have you discounted this person because you never took the time to get to know that person? See, I, I, I start exploring me at that age. I, I, was, I, I dressed like this at school. Yeah, I went to school. And you'd be like, bro, I want to be a preacher. This was before preaching was popular. At that age, how old are you? You're 10? Okay. At 10 years old, my sister went to jail. First time I ever heard of jail. And then my brother left at 10 years old to the military. And that was the most traumatic experience I've ever seen in my life. They came in, they grabbed us. My brother was my hero. He was like, me and him look like twins. He's just older. He has no hair. I have great hair. Uh, he, um, anyway, um, he, he was like my superhero. He, he decided he wanted to go to the military. Never, 
We didn't know why. He was playing football, college football, got in trouble, lost his scholarship, didn't want to come back home. And so instead of coming back home, he went to the military. The military came. They just came in the house. They grabbed all his things. And I watched him walk out the door. And the only thing I remember was him doing a wave. So if you ask me about the military, it's not that I don't believe in the military. I feel like the military stole my brother. So when in high school they asked me about ROTC, I got so offended that you would ask me about joining ROTC. I don't want to have nothing to do with y'all. But if you don't understand that, you won't understand this. So I grew up as an only child almost. My brother wasn't around, my sister wasn't around. So I grew up as a, as a unique only child situation. My sister had various issues of drugs and all that type of stuff. So I'm a clinger. If I like you, I like you for life. But you won't understand this person if you don't understand that person. So for me, relationships matter. So for me, I, because I know this person, I try not to enter into relationships that I know will break me. But if you don't understand this person and don't see this person, you'll never understand that person. So, so if, if you need to know, how was your team? Did you grow up having family? Did y'all have all, no, my, my family wasn't around and my family didn't, we didn't have Thanksgiving dinners and stuff like that. And so I got married. I want to help you because being transparent helps. I got married. My wife grew up with all her siblings. They talk every day. I thought that was so weird. Like, why do y'all, like, do you need to talk to each other every day? Like, is this, is this really real that y'all need? So on Thanksgiving, when my wife would tell you, when we first got married, on Thanksgiving, you would find me in a corner hidden. Because after a while, it became depressing because I, did ne I never saw family sit together at a Thanksgiving table together, and it became torture to me to go to Thanksgiving. But at first I was like, why are you always by yourself? You always just drift out by, and I, my brother-in-law is like my brother. But if you don't understand him, you'll never understand him. That's why we grow together. So then Thanksgiving will come, and she'll make sure that, hey, let I see you drifting. Come, come with me. Why? Because that's how you grow together. Some of us leave each other where we're short. And Jesus says, if you don't want to sacrifice, then don't damage somebody else because you don't want to grow with them. So I close with this. You can't force this person can't force everybody and this person can't blame this person for why he is the way he is. At some point, this person has to take responsibility and say, I need to be better. Right? Now, <laughs> Penny, come here. Let me borrow you because you're married to him. Cole? Okay. All right, this Penny's going to be his wife. I want to give you a visual example on why marriages don't work. So y'all hold that cord. I need a little kids. Claire, can I borrow you? Um, um, let me borrow another little kid, little girl. Brad has two little daughters. Come on. Y'all going to be famous. Oh, All right, I want you to stand right here. No. How old are you? Yes, yeah, stand, stand right here. Yep. Yeah. All right, come on. Y'all so cute. All right, you're going to stand right here. You're going to stand right here. Let's say this is Penny. If he doesn't get to know all of these and she doesn't get to know all of them, Y'all going to be confusing each other. And because you don't know each other, what happens? 
because you didn't have, you didn't deal with your daddy issues, you didn't deal with your mama issues. So what happens is, John, come over here. Hold this rope. Let go of here, my promise is okay. Leave me that jacket at the end of service, thanks. No suspense. So what happens is, you end up marrying a child that's looking for a mother. Because the grown man didn't heal, you end up asking your wife to be your mom. Or vice versa, John, go up there. Prince, come back here. Every girl, right, every girl, some of these young, come here, sweetie. Some of you young girls. Penny. Yep. Hold this baby girl. Penny, go back down there. So now we have this at the altar. She really looking for her daddy, but she just substituted him with a husband. And because this little girl, all she did, <laughs> this is so good. This little girl, all she, okay, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Hold this, hold this rope, hold this rope. Okay, come here, come here. <laughs> so this little girl, all she did was dream about being married. All she did was play with Barbie dolls, want to get married. Now she gets a little older, and, and she's still dreaming about that day because as a kid, that's all she dreamt about. That's all she wanted. That's all she seen. And then that's, that's all she thought about. And then as she gets a little older, she still thinks about getting married and, and having all that and doing all that and, and just having this. And, and she didn't always see a healthy picture of what family was or she had a distorted view of what family or relationships was. And so what will happen is she will just substitute for anybody to quench the thirst of her childhood. And some of you didn't marry right. You married what was available. So here's the word of the Lord to us. You, you got to find who you are because it's not their job to discover you. And why didn't it work? Because you didn't, you didn't grow. When we grow, it grows. So it's, it's a challenge for all of us. We got to grow through it. And I know all of us have challenges in life. At this age, you may have been violated and it affected you as an adult. Like all these things happen to us in this sinful world. And some of us at this age, you're just mad, you're just angry because, you know, daddy tried you and you just grew up angry and that's just how you are. And, and now you're married to somebody that's got to learn how to grow and adjust and dance around, but you just can't keep saying, well, that's how I was as a child. At some point, you have to take accountability for you.